So in just a few hours from now, the presidential nominees will meet each other for the very first time in what is expected to be the most watched presidential debate in U.S. history thus far. Oh, wow. They'll be standing six feet apart with no audience, and mics will be muted in between questions. This could very well be one of the only times this, the pair will debate. Hmm. So, I'm supposed to ask y'all, <laughs> what do they need to bring to the stage? What do they need to put out to the American people? And how do you see this playing out? I think Kamala has a really tough job ahead of her. I was actually at Don Lemon's book opening yesterday, and he's been doing this incredible job of just being on the ground. You've mm -hmm. seen it on social media, and speaking to people. People are saying that they don't know her. Mm -hmm. People are saying that they aren't going to vote, that they're going to sit on the couch. Mm -hmm. And people think that Donald Trump gave them money from the stimulus check because he had his name signed on him. So they think that oh. economically, he was, they were doing better under him. So, so I think that she needs to outline her vision for this country, which is a joyful one, which is one that moves forward. I think she can't fall into the... It's a, it's a plus for her that she's a former prosecutor and he's a felon. I like that matchup. But I think she can't fall into the attack mode because then she falls into the tropes of the angry black woman, right? So she has to be careful there. And I think she also needs to explain her evolution on a number of topics. You've said, Whoopi, that it's great to evolve. That's a strength to evolve. Mm -hmm. But I think she needs to do that. Um, and I, I think these are going to be difficult things for her to do because she has a menace on the other side, someone who w doesn't normally um, behave. Yeah. And so she doesn't know what to expect. Well, he behaves I, like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think, I didn't want to say that, yeah, but yeah, well, yes. Why not? Say it. I think, well, I, gonna, I think she has more to lose, but also more to gain. So this New York Times Siena poll says 28% of voters want to know more about what she's for. Mm -hmm. And I think the person who will emerge the victor in this debate is the person who leaves Americans thinking, I understand your hardships and I have a plan to solve them. Mm -hmm. So she needs to approach this like a job interview. You don't talk about why the other guy isn't good for it. You talk wh about why you're the best person for the job. Doesn't mean she can't fact check him. Doesn't mean she can't call him out on his record, but people need to know what she's for. I think the biggest strategic error her campaign has made to date is not having her in her own words answer on some of the policy reversals ahead of this debate. So at one point she was for defund the police. At one point she was for cutting funding to ICE, like immigration enforcement, um, for, just to name a couple. They should have had her answer those so that when she has the biggest audience she'll ever have, she's not for the first time addressing those issues. Uh -huh. That's something they should have gotten ahead of because it'll inevitably come up tonight. Um, but that said, Donald Trump, I tend to think, melts down after about 15 minutes. He can start <laughs> strong, but he tends to diminish. Oh, well, you're and giving him more credit It's a 90-minute debate. <laughs> it's a 90-minute debate. So there's a chance he starts strong. I pay attention to how he's in the back half of yeah. it. That's where he started getting into handicaps and golf and all that. Well, I think and, the yeah. big thing is he needs to not react to his attacks, first and foremost, which she's been doing so well. Right. Because otherwise it puts her on a whole night of being on the defensive instead of the offensive. So don't right. take the bait and keep moving. I also think she she can't get too caught up in all the lies. We always talk about how many are going to come at her. She has to know in advance which are going to be the most crucial ones to clarify, mm -hmm. or she's using her time that could define herself by defending a person we all already know. Every viewer watching will know him. And the last thing is I think she needs to be sure that she's not defined by Donald Trump and not defined by President Biden, meaning the two bookend men on her right now, she needs to step out and make sure people know her. Because that is the ranging thing, is 30% of people say they want to know her better. Mm -hmm. So she needs to take that time on the mic and make sure it is not constantly deflecting, but mm -hmm. putting the offensive on. All right. Well, first off, I think she should refer to him as the defendant. <laughs> <laughs> to counter what he says. Well, what the defendant just said is a lie. <laughs> and the other thing about Americans is they really, and I, I've been reading about their, their main problem in the country is the economy, the economy, the economy. Yes. And they, they feel that he could take care of the economy better. But let us not forget these points. Uh, he's, six companies of his went into bankruptcy. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't pay his workers or his vendors. Uh, the Trump Organization has 17 felonies. Weisselberg, his accountant, is in jail. Yes. And For refusing to testify against him. 
And last but not least, and the most fabulous point, he bankrupted a casino. <laughs> Nobody bankrupts a casino. You and I, we play blackjack. She plays, what do you play? Baccarat. Baccarat. I play blackjack. I never, ever really leave with money. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I have a heart attack at the table. Right. I will never leave. I always yeah. give it back to them. The casino never win, never loses, yeah, except when it's loses. run by Donald Trump. <laughs> May I say something about about Kamala? Um, her her uh, team just put out her platform. Yeah. And I thought what was so incredible about it is she's um, speaking to all the different groups she needs to speak to. Right. She's offering uh, up to twenty five thousand dollars to help with down payments for first time home buyers. Yeah, that's true. That that is. So significant for millennials. It is a tax There's a tax rebate. She on gun control. She's going to ban assault weapons. She's speaking to suburban moms <laughs> on reproductive right. rights. She's vowing to sign a bill on the first day. She's investing in affordable child care. She's speaking to moms. She's also speaking to the working and middle class, telling them, "I'm going to cut taxes for more than 100 million of you." So to your point, she's contrasting that with the death and despair of Project 2025, yeah. which, of course, Donald Trump is a but part of. She will and get I think pressed that's what I, what I What, I, should, what I want yeah. from her yeah. is to not deal with him. Because I don't believe 28% of the folks don't know who she is. She's yeah. been around for four years. Yeah. That's I'm a good sorry. Point. I, I'm just saying. So... I, I understand you may not know what her particular policies are, and that's what this is about. That's why she's doing this. He is a distraction, and she knows it. We know it. And, you know, I, I listen to people talk, and, they, you know, the, oh, my God, this is, you know, she's got to do... You know, none of us know. None of us know what we would do when you're under fire. Yeah. Now we'll find out. Yeah, but her, her so, experience as a prosecutor is going to help her. But, you know, I, yeah. I, I hope so. Yeah. But you can't, you, do, you know, you don't know how you're going to be. I, that's why I said when Joe went in the last time, mm -hmm. he didn't go in to have a bad night. Mm -hmm. No. Right. No, no, no. That wasn't the plan. But this is what happens. So we all have to say, okay, our expectations are the expectations we hope for, but they're not, it can't be real expectations because we don't know what we're walking into. Well, and that 30% right. didn't say they didn't know her. They want to know more about her. And as the vice president, they know Biden, but she's been the vice president. Yeah, which but means still, they want to know what differentiates I her. I bet yeah. you most people could tell you about Pence. Oh, I couldn't tell you anything about Pence except oh, he I saved the election. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. Well, that's, just, that's, there you are. There are the, people know more about people than they think they do. And I'm saying, don't lean on this thing that, oh, I don't know who she is, because you do. You've heard what she says. You know why she went to the border. You saw what she did. You saw how she was fighting. You saw how they lied. You saw how she cleaned it up. Believe what you see and what you hear. Not what you think somebody is saying. Believe what's coming out of their mouth. Now, I have... No, 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 no. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> but you can watch the ABC News presidential debate moderated by David Muir and Lindsey Davis tonight at 9 p.m. Yeah. Make some popcorn. Drink yeah. some wine. <laughs>